Hello everybody, and I am Star, and I am back on the Time Shot server. Now, this episode is going to be a little bit of a hodgepodge of different things going on. There's a bunch of things I want to check out at spawn. I might do some building, but first, before we do that, we're going to start off with a little bit of helping Pudsy with a little something something. Oh, hey. Hi. Oh, you're- hold on, you're quiet compared to Minecraft. Oh, I'm sorry. You should be. You know what? You should turn oh. up- you should turn up your throat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ha have help moving the polar bear because I'm terrified. Oh, uh, really? Do you have a lead? I don't want it to- yeah, I have a lead. I just don't want it to die. Oh, so you're gonna blame- I see how this is. So you're gonna blame me if it dies. It's your present. <laughs> I've, I'm tempted to just straight up confiscate. I can't believe you guys had a game where you were gonna see which mule survived. That's I cruel. I have a game. That's it wasn't cruel. a game. That's cruel. Why didn't you protect them? I don't I don't trust him with Ursula anymore. Why haven't you seen how much I've been rushing to get this done for a reason? <laughs> uh no. if you can lend me a lead, I can I can give Ursula a little I mean it should be fine, like they're quite durable. I mean oh. Ursula was axed and shot and everything by me, so <laughs> yeah, I, I've given I her a healing that. potion. Just... Hopefully she's okay. Oh, get in there. Get in there, Puddlet. So where exactly Go. is this place that- oh, I see. Your name's down there. I'll just leave it open while we're moving them in. Oh, is this staircase what it is? Well, the staircase is really ugly, but it's a can design that. Ah, Oh, it's got, like, a sky inside. That's so cute. Yeah. Oh, That's really, really it's cute. It's really big, but it took ten stacks of obsidian. I was like, that's it, I'm done. Oh, it's a little igloo for Ursula. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is cute. I'm really glad that Cuckoo Doodles survived. Cuckoo Doodles is my favorite. <laughs> okay, I will. If you pass me the lead, I will yoink oh, Ursula yeah. over here. I just love how grumpy the polar bears look all the time. <laughs> I'd be grumpy if I was in the desert. That's, <laughs> That's very true. I'm glad that you're giving her an igloo. Come here, Ursula. They're so Did derby. you realize that? You hate Frozen, but he named a horse after Olaf. Yeah, that was viewer's suggestion, though. So it doesn't count. He still picked it. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> it. Oh no, this gate. I'm gonna have to destroy his gate. So that's a little too fat to get through. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, your polar bear was too fat to fit through. We have to destroy your house. There we go. No, I just had to destroy one piece of fence. It's okay. I don't even think he's noticed that I've started taking his stuff. Yeah. You just like, just ignore me. Okay, Ursula, come down this mountain very carefully, okay? Come on. Okay. <laughs> just behave yourself. Oh my god, don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. That's quite a drop. <gasps> okay. Okay, just don't. Just. Look, just be careful, okay? Polar bears really don't like to cooperate. This is the problem. Like, they don't like to jump when you want them to jump. Come on. <laughs> Ursula, you can. Here we go. Okay. I love also that Ursula means little bear, but this is like the biggest freaking polar bear. <laughs> biggest fat bear. <laughs> fat, fat bear. I wonder what fat bear is in Latin or whatever Ursula is. Yeah. Right, here we go. Come up here. You can make it upstairs, There's stairs right? for you, Ursula. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, no, you. no, no. Oh, no. The gates are closed. That's why. Whoops. Come on, Ursula. Yeah. Come, come Oh, no. The lead broke. Ursula, come back here. Uh-oh. Where'd it go? Where'd the lead go? Um, I've got more. Did you eat it, Ursula? Did you eat the lead? Did it tumble down Does the stairs? Yeah. Thank There's you. another one in the water there for you. I I'm confused. Did it tumble down the stairs? I don't know. I just don't know where the lead went. It's just disappeared. <laughs> Ursula, get in there. Ursula, Do it. Come on. Come on, girl. You can look. Come on. Come here. I made you an igloo. Come on, Ursula, you could. There we go. Yay! Aww. Newton, don't even. Wait, um, Olaf is in the igloo, except. In the, wait, no, you're, you don't belong in there, Olaf. Get out of here. <laughs> Grob's trying to get in as well. There's like, everybody no, wants the back. igloo. Go back. Go back. Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, Puddler Jr. No, it's not there. actually pet friendly to ride in here. No, it isn't. I don't want people easily getting out. Yeah. Oh, get in. Go. Okay. There we go. Aw, oh, this is so cute. I love it. Yay. Go, look, Ursula, go in the igloo. Here we go. 
Get in the... Now stay there. Now stay in there. <laughs> You're too big for the igloo. <laughs> She's too big. <laughs> her Look, her butt won't fit in. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> That's like a screenshot. I was, I don't know, I've done that as well. It's like, well, there we know that's perfect. There, she's actually, oh no, no, go back in the igloo. That was a perfect screenshot. I missed it. We did it. And by we, I mean you. Yay. I just moved one animal. <laughs> I oh. did all of this all by myself. I'm so proud of me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mined all ending. of this obsidian. <laughs> I built this whole thing. Now I'm gonna put a password on it. It's gonna be great. I'm really smart. <laughs> Okay, how exactly does the password thing work? Don't tell me what it is. Uh, it's gonna I'm, record I'm, I'm it's recording right now, just because I'm recording a oh, bunch on, of different things on the server. So. Yeah, I'll record too. Hold on. Ow! I've been slack. I probably should have recorded. Get out of here. What did I do? No, it was, oh, was, like, was Babby. I'm alt tabbed. I didn't do anything. It was Babby. <laughs> I blame you a lot. It was entirely... Right. Well, guys... I'm here with Penny. Hi. Penny helped me move the animals. <laughs> this is weird, introing, basically... introing a recording in the middle of a recording. I'm confused now. <laughs> well, I'm continuing my recording. It's just like, hey, we're back. Welcome back to the world. Oh. Um, you can know the password because Edson will change it. Okay. <laughs> I don't think he'll change that. I think that's perfect. He'll love that. <laughs> But, but he can't okay. use it because my viewers know it and everyone else does. But yeah. basically, yeah, you can't press the button at all. Okay. Like, it doesn't do anything. It's password locked. Like, you have to use the password. And if you put anything else other than the password in, it won't go into the second hopper. Oh, there's the lead. That's why you're spelling Oh, it hopper. went in there. Makes sense. That's why. So, yeah, if you put whatever you put in here, will never go to the second hopper, which will then stop it activating. Oh, how does that work then? How does it filter? So basically, the password is filter locked, and then it goes through, and it has to only when it hits over eighteen stacks, it'll go through to the new area, which is like two um, droppers. I did like a semi tutorial on it on my channel. Okay. Um, but yeah, and basically the droppers have an item that's not stackable, say like a sword or something, uh. and if that transfers to the other um, dropper. It opens the doors. That's so cool. So you put that in and then you're able to open it. <gasps> Do they stay open? Why is that not closing? No, what? Uh-oh. Did it break? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, I fixed it. There we go. I fixed it. That's so cool. And then you can't open it again. That's awesome. I mean, you know. And basically, obsidian's out to this part. Actually, I should probably get some obsidian for the roof here. All right. I need to just finish this off with, like, two more pieces of obsidian so no one can actually mine into this without hitting obsidian. Yeah. I feel like nobody should now that it's, like, clearly locked off. Like, it's making it known that you shouldn't be doing it. Exactly, yeah. And it's not easy to get and into. And it kind of just ruins the fun of it if they don't try and guess the password or exactly. something. Exactly, exactly. I mean, you know, knowing Dave, he'll probably just dig straight in, but <laughs> with his hand through the obsidian. Yeah. <laughs> Not Three that years well, later, he's lost. Dave gets didn't he, to the animals. Didn't he lose all this stuff on last night's stream? When he, or, uh, oh, or the night before, when um, he he mined through the, uh, the, nether, fo the, the nether hub floor <laughs> and fell and died. <laughs> I'll and he, all he said was, I've lost everything. Revenge will be quick. It will, like, will be swift and brutal. And then he just logged out. And Edson was like, oh, no. Is he, like, giving revenge against the nether? Because Edson no, doesn't seem to be the one was, at fault there. It was, he, was, he was running away from Edson, who was trying to kill him, I think, for something. He should learn so to run away a bit better. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> Well, I, I'm loving this. This is a very good idea. Maybe if I get valuable things in the future, I might have to get you to make one for me. I can mine the obsidian, <laughs> but like the password thing, I might, I, that, that might be quite useful. Yeah. Well, yeah, so cool. I kind of just made it look like this guy. Obviously it's not. Um, I could have like hidden the obsidian. I was going to do it with clay, but I thought, I don't know, glass looks a little bit better yeah. than clay because the clay is not really blue. Yeah. Oh yeah, the clay's like gray. It's weird. I could probably do yellow. Um yellow glass instead of white and it could be like stars like a night sky oh that's so cute i just love that this look ursula loves this igloo she this is like this is where i belong maybe it's something like that's programmed into them to stand on like 
Snow. Maybe. I love I love that she's there regardless. Like this is very, very and the cute. horses are all like, we want to be in the igloo igloo. <laughs> the igloo is the best. Oh. It is a cute igloo. Here we go. Perfect. It's a little bit a little bit chilly in here, but it's it's nice. It's nice. I are have you... too much stuff in my inventory. <laughs> I love your skin I... so much. We're both dressed up for the uh we've got the Godiva Gaming UHC recording later tonight, so we're all dressed up in our Halloween I don't have my Halloween Halloween skin on. I need to I just got the picture from Edson, but then he died in the nether, <laughs> so we had to save yeah. his stuff. <laughs> but I was gonna transfer it over and get my new skin on, so I'll probably do that in a minute. So I think I'm gonna see if Edson wants to come see this. Yeah. But I need to go get some more obsidian first. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna make. Oh, did you see what I did at my place with the um? No. My, so at my place I've got an ender chest and it says password in here and it points down to the ender chest. Yeah, I saw that. So I'm gonna get an ender chest and be like password in here so he can keep his password there. Ah. Look at him. He has no clue. He thinks everything is lost and it'll never have pets. <laughs> just watch him just, yeah. let's pretend we're talking about it I mean we are but let's like <laughs> hi hi I might have I ran past him with the mules before and I was like you saw nothing don't worry about it <laughs> I might have um I might have a do you have more obsidian or do you have to go mine some I have one more piece I need a 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I might have like a little bit of obsidian. Let me look. Yeah. I will check. It, I don't think it'll be enough, but it'll save you a few blocks. Yeah. Why did I have it's this It's been obsidian? fun. I've, yeah, I've mined 10 stacks of obsidian. Oh, I have 14 obsidian. Yes. <gasps> you are amazing. Yes. I'm going to give you one piece of obsidian. <laughs> I need the other 13. Where are you? Are you at your base? Oh, no, you're here. You. Hello. So how much do you need? Sorry. Uh, so I need 11, I think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Perfect. Oh. Now we can finish it. Yay. Finish it. Finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now that is done and over with. I'm gonna show you guys a few things going on at spawn. So you might have noticed while I was going over to help, um, there's quite a few Halloween related things at spawn. Now I didn't show these last episode because I was all the way out at the uh, mushroom biome doing some building. So I thought this episode, I'd just show you a little bit around some of the things going on at spawn. There's also a couple of things I wanna do. So first of all, you can see there's banners. There's banners advertising uh, certain things. So this one is advertising the new horse, mule, donkey uh, shop from Torton Pudsey, which I will be checking out in just a little bit. And this one is advertising Torts Fish and Chip Shop. Let's have a little look. See, we got just fish and chips, JFC. Now, what an original name. That's such a, that's clever. I like that. That's a very, a very clever original name. So we got, uh, welcome to just fish and chips. We serve the best JFC in town. Fish, 10 iron, chips. Chips 10 iron, combo 20 iron. Pricing uh, based on iron slash stack of food served. Discount all Brits get 10% off any order. Okay. Please help yourselves. And then you get a pay in here. This is cool. I like this. I like this. And I like, hey, look. Check that out. Check this, this sign out. I like this sign. I like this sign. I like this sign a lot. Uh, let's have a little look at their uh, their supplies here. So they got fish in here. Yeah. Oh, they got salmon. Oh, I do. I do like salmon a lot. I love me some salmon. And we got some potatoes as well. I might have to. Hey. Hey. Look. I'm running out. I'm running out of JFC. So actually, this would be perfect. I might go for the uh, the combo. So it's ten percent off. So it's eighteen iron for a stack of fish and a stack of potatoes is that how it works iron slash stack of food served i th think that's what it means okay so let's get 18 iron and let's get a stack i'm glad i like i like having i like being a brit <laughs> i like being a brit and having and having a price off this is great uh 18. okay i will pay 18 iron ingots and i will take my stack of fish and my stack of chips nom 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 
Uh, I'm going to take some salmon because I like salmon a lot. And also some potatoes. There we go. Delicious. Delicious. And I like all the paintings and stuff. And, you know, Tort did buy one of my discs for his pub as well. So it's kind of it's kind of nice to pay patronage in return. Um, and I'm starting to run. I mean, I've been eating so much JFC recently. I think I need to lay off the JFC. But it's doing a little bit to my uh, to my waistline. So maybe, maybe a little bit of nice, healthy, succulent fish and chips will actually be better instead. Just ignoring the fact that, you know, fish and chips is covered in batter and things like that. So another thing I noticed while I was um, <clears throat> away building is that somebody has come along and replaced bone blocks. These doors, I need to fix these doors so they're not so terrible. Um, somebody's replaced all of my bone blocks with quartz, which I can only assume was, I think it was Poet who was doing this in a previous episode. So it was probably Poet or somebody, or somebody to that. Uh, disposition of being a troll so i'm gonna replace these real quick thanks whoever did this for the free quartz i do like quartz and i'm sure i'll be using it in a future build uh whereas bone blocks don't cost nearly as much was it just in the entrance way here <clears throat> i think it was looks like it i don't think there's anywhere else anywhere around my build which does that a uh, zombie there, we'll ignore that zombie. Seems to be good. Okay, cool, rad. That's fine. That's just dandy. Um, what I wanted to show you was this thing. Um, so Pudsy built this. Pudsy's been doing the decorations all around Spawn. And she has, uh, she's made this pumpkin. And inside this pumpkin, uh, one turn per week until Halloween, refilled weekly Puds. Trick or treat, press the button to find out. So I'm cheating a little bit. I have already done, um... My, I've already done this once this week, but I wasn't recording and I wanted to record it for you guys. Now, uh, it, it plays the Walking Dead theme, which is really, really good. I love it and it sounds great. You guys will hear it in just a second. But uh, the first time I did it, I got a trick. I got poisoned. So I'm hoping this time that I get something a little bit nicer. So Minecraft fingers crossed. <sighs> That's so good. And I got a diamond. I got something nice this time. Yay. Thank you, Pudsy. Uh, this is actually going to come in handy for what I want to do next. Um, so as I said, uh, Pudsy and Tort have opened a uh, have opened a little horse business, a little uh, horse breeding training business. Now, I don't need a horse because I've already got um, I've already got a uh, horsey horsey McHorse face. <laughs> Uh, which was a present from Edson when my uh, when when my horse died. So this time um, I thought something I don't have, which I know Edson has a lot of and has had a bit of trouble with recently. But I really want a mule. I want a mule that I can put a little chest on and bring with me. Um, and I don't have I don't have a mule. Are there any mules down here? There's lots of signs up here. Look at this. Like that actually looks like a horse. How? clever is that sign that is so cool it must have taken them ages to like work out how to do it welcome to australian tortoise transportation services uh horses upstairs two diamonds horses below one diamond mules four diamonds donkeys upstairs three diamonds donkeys below two diamonds saddles one diamond payments go in here so Luckily, I have some diamonds sitting under this chest. Or oh, what is this? Aqua affinity. I don't know why I have or need that, but um, uh, I have some diamonds sitting in here already, and there are some mules in here. See, there are so there's a couple of a couple of cute little mules in here. Um, so mules are four diamonds, and then saddles are a diamond. But I've I've been fishing. I've been trying to get a name tag so I can name this mule because I don't have any name tags left. Uh, I upgraded my um fishy smell uh fishing rod, so now it has luck of the sea three and lure three on it, which is great. But I still haven't managed to get a, um, a fishing rod. Uh, fishing rod? I haven't managed to get a name tag yet. But I have got a couple of saddles. So I do have a spare saddle. So I don't have to buy that. I just have to pay for the mule. So let's put four diamonds in here. And let's 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 look at the mules. So we've got a couple to pick from here. we got these two. So, oh, I have to try to... Here we go. I have to make it love me. Please love me. Please? No, please. Please, please love me. Yes? Yes? No, you don't want to love me. What about you? Do you want to love me? Oh, you kicked me off of meat. Wow. Wow. This guy really doesn't like me. Okay, well, this one is clearly the nicer one. He's he's putting up a little bit less of a fight. Will you love me? Will you please love me? <gasps> Yay, you love me! Okay, so now we can... Oh, sorry, sorry. Now we can put that on. Hi. Hi. Aww. Aw, you're cute. I like you. I like you a lot. 
Ah, oh, ah. Oh. All right. Let, well, let's let's see if this one will love me at all, please. Do you? Do you? Hello? Oh no, you're not. Hello? You are really not having this, are you? Okay, now you love me. Oh no. You're not. There we go. Do you love me now? You love me as well. You know, you put up a little bit more of a fight, so I don't I don't think you're the one for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Mule, but I think this one... What is in this chest here? A lot of building stuff. I think this is the mule for me. Aren't you? Aren't you, little guy? Yeah? Yeah. Now, can I put chests on you? Oh, the little... But you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I can put stuff in you. Okay. Hi. Hi, little guy. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey! Oh look, even he's like, he is the one for you. He is the chosen one. Okay, little guy, you're coming with me. So, as I said, I don't have a name tag yet, so I don't really know what to call this guy. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Oh, look at him, he's so sweet. He's not too bad, he's not that slow either. He's probably about a little bit faster than walking speed. So that's okay, that's not too bad. Oh, sorry, I ran to a cactus with you already. I'm a terrible owner, I'm sorry. All right, come with me. Um. Now, I don't have a name for him yet, so I thought I'd do a little game with you guys. Um, so, like, there's a few of my animals that I've come up with names for, and there's a couple of animals which I've asked you guys if you can come up with names for. So instead, what I thought would be fun would be to name a, a viewer after this mule. Um, now, I uh, I thought of a fun way to do this, to make it fair for everyone. Um, let's just put him in here for now with my other horses. I want to keep him safe in my little... Here. Ow, 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 ow. Whoa, how did you escape, little dude, huh? How did you get out of there? Alright, hold on a second. There we go. You you sit in here. It's getting quite crowded in here. I should probably make this a little bit uh a little bit bigger. Here, you you go in here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I need a name for him. And I'm not entirely sure what to name him or her. Or her. So I thought I'd name it after a viewer. So the game that I have is in this chest down here i have a stack of lapis oil that i have not yet used uh my fortune three pick on uh, my fortune three pick is in my ender chest at the moment so i don't have it on me but it is fortune three and i'm going to be using that on this i want you guys in the comments to guess how many pieces of lapis i'm going to get from this entire stack of lapis lazuli ore when i use fortune three on it uh, so if you leave your guesses in the comments and then next episode i will be uh i will be silk touching this and then whichever viewer guesses correctly i will or gets the closest anyway because it's going to be <laughs> extremely difficult to get the exact number but whichever viewer gets the closest number i will uh have my mule named after you if somehow it's a tie between multiple people i will combine your names to make a special new sort of mule name thing um so yeah that's the game that's all it is just a stack of lapis it'll be silk touched uh silk touched it'll be fortuned and you guys just have to guess how much you think i'm going to get closest viewer will get the mule named after them now there's been a bunch of other things happening at spawn as well things like we now have a blaze farm in the um in the nether which is great for levels uh really 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 nice for levels um uh it's a lot faster than the skelly grinder and you don't get as much garbage from it because you just get the blaze rods from them whereas skellies you have to worry about sorting the armor and things like that and it could just be a little bit of a faff so it's very nice to have a blaze farm now which jake made jake has also made if we wander over here he's got a little store that's opened up here which is called does it say on here horse parking no that's 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 not it jake's fantastic chapments J-F-C. Jake's Fantastic Chapman's. What an original name. Wow. I've never heard somebody use this initial. That's re That's incredibly original. I'm loving that. That's great. Like, I already love it here. We're open. Let's have a look and give a read, shall we? So there's been a bit of a feud between, uh, <laughs> between Jake and, uh, Poet and, <laughs> and how much information should be put on signs. So Jake's uh, has all of this written on it. Welcome to JFC, blah, 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 you custom stuff. This is what you do. You write down this, blah, 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 etc. etc. This is how much diamonds would cost, things like that. <laughs> Poets just says, welcome to JFC, fancy enchantments. We craft, you buy. Price, two diamonds per enchant. You pride the stuff or the diamonds to make the stuff. That's it. No other signs. <laughs> I'm guessing these are just orders that you can place in to get stuff enchanted. This is probably the hopper where you place your order, I would imagine. And 
is this payments? I'm not entirely sure what's like, what, what, that, what that is for payments, actually. It probably says it. Uh, oh, look, there's there's names hovering around it there. Um, so, uh, so that's going to be quite useful. I've, I tend to not go too overboard with enchanting. Um, but if I ever need something enchanted, then this is the place that I'm going to go. Um, actually, I kind of like to get a, maybe a silk touch axe or something at some point would be quite nice. So maybe I could request a, uh, a silk touch axe at some point. Right now, I've just enchanted uh, a unbreaking efficiency axe because my previous axe just broke. Uh, so that'll last me for a little bit, but I don't have a good axe yet. I could do some mending books as well. I don't really know where I'm going to get mending books. Edson doesn't have a store open at the moment, so I need some because I've ended up getting myself a, a set of diamond armor, uh, which is kind of my, I guess, emergency armor if I'm ever doing something which I'm going to require a lot of armor for. So say, for example, taking on like a water temple or something like that. Uh, so I have, I have good armor now. Let me, let's have a look at it and see what enchants I have on it. The chain armor will be my default armor that I'll always kind of have around me or wear if I need to. Um, but I do have some diamond armor, which the, the helmet's pretty good. Uh, it's a combination of fire protection and regular protection. So it's fire protection on the top half. And it got a bit of thorns on that as well. And regular protection on the bottom half. And feather folding as well on the boots. Like, the boots are pretty pretty damn nice. Are, my, are these Death Strider 3? Yeah, they are Death Strider 3. Good-o. Um... And Feather Falling 4, which is nice. Um, so the boots are pretty much the same as my chain ones, except for the fact that they're diamond. Uh, but obviously, if I ever end up feeling like I need a load of armor on me, then this is this is what I'll use. I have a couple of spare helmets and trousers as well. And I finally got my memes sword back. I finally upgraded uh, a new sword. It's better than my old sword by a long shot, the one I accidentally threw into a cactus off camera because I'm an idiot. Uh, so this one's got not back on it, as well as uh, un break i don't think my previous sword actually had unbreaking on it you know i think it was sharpness looting mending and that was it uh so it's nice it's nice it's a little bit better i wanted to get fire aspect on it but i didn't it was it was too high an enchanting level unfortunately for me to combine anything else on it but that's okay that's all right um so that's pretty much it for this episode just kind of a com a combo wombo of um of different things. Uh, next episode, we're probably going to be back to building that house over there. Um, I'm probably going to be working on designing a couple of the rooms. Um, and next episode, I will also be finishing off the episode by working out all of this ore stuff. So make sure that you guess in the comments below how much lapis you think I'm going to get from that. And that's it for me. I will see you in the next episode. I might even have a spookier skin on than this. Uh, so Edson has been working on a special spooky Halloween skin, which is a little bit more spooky than this one, which I have right now. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. <laughs> but that's all for me. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention um, that uh, as you're watching this episode, the applications to be uh, my guests in the Timeshot UHC are going to be closed now. So thank you, everybody who has contributed and applied for it. And you guys will find out who, who, my, who my guest is uh, when we record the UHC. So keep an eye out for that and get hyped for that. It's going to be a good one. OK, so I will see you guys. <gasps> running around punching i knew that would get me into trouble one day it's like automatic for me to be running around like just punching in the air i didn't wait for that to happen god damn it oh god you're not still mad at me are you are you good you're good we're okay you've killed me you're okay now <laughs> whoops okay well on on that note on that note <laughs> I will see. Good one. Good one, Gordon Fedson. I'm sorry I hit you, dude. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, man, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, God.